Due to being too useless, he was driven away by his family and exiled to the earth where ordinary people live. Ning Sheng has no waves in his heart. She calmly embarked on the path to earth, then I met a man named Lusnian. In the past two years, no matter how much she tossed and turned, the countdown to life that never changed, unexpectedly came to a standstill when she was by this man's side. Spending money to invite this man to eat a bowl of spicy hot pot for 27 yuan, her life countdown unexpectedly increased by 27 seconds. She saved. Ning Sheng, who was already calm and ready to lie flat, quickly got up and waved his hand. Do you want to eat? It's my treat. Do you like these clothes? Buy them. Where's the luxury car? Buy it. Luxury mansion. Buy it. No matter what, buy 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 buy. In order to make money and continue his life, Ning Xing's vests, big and small, were dropped layer by layer, eating chickens in the wilderness, she vacations while others seek survival, love show live broadcast, celebrity guests showcase their love, and amateur guests, Ning Sheng, showcase their wealth and talent, in the workplace variety show, the newcomer Big Shot won the peak admission ticket at the beginning, and Ning Sheng directly had the peak. At the beginning, Ruth said, she loves me so much. In the following year, Ruth said, I love her so much. Ning Xingyuan thought that he had only encountered a tool for brushing his life, I never expected that the other party would be a real giant who came to earth for vacation. Keywords of the novel After being exiled to earth, she became popular in the entire universe through live streaming without pop-ups. After being exiled to earth, she became popular through live streaming and downloaded the complete text of the entire universe. After being exiled to Earth, she became popular through live streaming and read the latest chapters of the entire universe. Chapter 1 Fiancé A Explodes Into Fireworks You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Fiancé A Explodes Into Fireworks 11 o'clock in the morning On the beach outside the window, the waves beat against the white golden beach, and the seagulls spread their wings and let out a loud and sharp cry. Ning Sheng ignored the precious red wine in front of her, which had been discarded, and slightly raised her chin, gesturing for the other party to read the divorce agreement she had just thrown on the small table. Signed. Miss Ning really doesn't give face. The man sitting opposite her sneered and casually placed the red wine glass on the table, making a warning-like sound. But it seems that you really treat yourself as the esteemed Miss Ning from the Ning family. As a legitimate member of the Ning family, but without awakening any abilities that evolutionary beings should possess, he is completely a lowly ordinary person. Being able to marry me is your blessing. Even ordinary people don't like to look for their fiancé A in the garbage dump. You. Forget about signing. I'm not interested in listening to the other person's arrogant and aloof remarks, Ning Sheng was about to speak and fight back when he saw a sudden countdown of 4 minutes and 40.4 seconds popping up on the opponent's forehead. The words that had reached her mouth were swallowed back into her stomach. Ning Sheng suddenly stood up and without hesitation, turned his head and walked away. I suddenly remembered that I had something else to do and left first. Man, what do you mean? Let's play hard to get. Although I don't understand what exactly happened, I always feel like a man who has been fooled and stands up. Ning Sheng, please stop me. Bang. The door was closed by Ning Sheng too, who didn't even return, it was as if one could still vaguely hear the irritable voice of a certain man. But all of this has nothing to do with her. Following the way he came, Ning Sheng quickly passed through the garden and walked onto the spacious lane leading to the gate. The castle building with a white shell is as beautiful as a fairy tale world in the sunlight behind her. No one noticed that there was a small black spot on the deep blue sky, rapidly attacking the estate. In an instant, it shattered the roof where the man was located. Boom! The remnants of the building were thrown up and splattered with the flames and heat waves. Ning Xing clicked on his brain and lowered his gaze to look at the time. Without looking back, he sat in his autonomous sedan, 
when I closed my eyes and leaned against the soft leather seat, it also covered the faint fatigue that appeared in my eyes. 01 Open Real Time News Broadcast. All right, now let's broadcast for the host. The cute and playful voice of the optical brain rang out clearly in the carriage, and a few seconds later, the voice of the female host of the Real Time News Broadcast came out from the audio system. Today's news below is an urgent news report. At 11.07 a.m. this morning, due to an operational error by a researcher from the Supreme Academy of Sciences of Tianlan Star, the latest precision positioning DX.1582 small missile developed by the Academy of Sciences unexpectedly deviated from its original route, eventually falling into the White Sea Manor area. The accident resulted in the death of a 25-year-old young man, it is reported that the man's identity is. Turn it off. Ning Xing didn't open his eyes and his voice was a bit numb. I won't listen anymore. This is already the 14th of this year. From the moment she saw the countdown on her unlucky fiancé E.S. forehead, the ending had already been predetermined. She couldn't even figure out why it was. It seems that one month before her 18th birthday, she suddenly saw the words, Countdown to Life, on the forehead of a passerby. The number that follows is only 10 seconds. That time, Ning Xing didn't even have time to react, and the other party was hit by a billboard falling from the sky in front of her, losing interest on the spot. In the following month, this situation occurred three more times, the shortest number on the countdown is 10 seconds, and the longest is 1 minute and 40.7 seconds. But the ultimate result is without exception. At the beginning, Ning Xing only thought that he had awakened some peculiar evolutionary ability, until the morning of my 18th birthday, when she woke up, she saw a row of golden fonts in her palm as well, countdown to life. 1118 days, 16.23 minutes, 56 seconds. This handwriting, which no one else could see except her, never disappeared from that day on. The only change is that the numbers above are decreasing every minute and second. In the past two years, Ning Sheng has tried various methods, he also successfully saved two unlucky individuals with a countdown to life on their foreheads, but the numbers in her own palm never disappeared. The destination ahead has arrived, and autonomous driving is over. Master, we're home now, dragged back to reality by the cheerful sound of the light brain from her sleep, Ning Sheng opened her eyes and saw the butler standing not far from her car with a suitcase. It is worth mentioning that the suitcase belongs to her. A dim and indistinct light flashed away in the depths of my eyes, Ning Sheng opened the car door and calmly got out of the car. For me. Yes. The butler lowered his body slightly, his movement seemed quite respectful, but the arrogance in his eyes had already betrayed his true attitude completely. Before you returned, the homeowner had already convened a brief online family meeting for everyone. With the unanimous consent of the family, miss, you will be exiled to earth, got it. There was no panic as the butler had imagined, let alone the tears he wanted to see, Ning Xing didn't even bother to ask the reason, so he just raised his eyes lightly, indicating that he shouldn't procrastinate. Put it in the trunk. Yes. Perhaps her aura was too strong and her tone was too natural, the butler instinctively followed suit honestly. It wasn't until the open back of the car was closed by him again that the butler realized what he had done. Suddenly, the old man's face twitched, and his expression was not good enough to speak up. You. Two hours later, I picked up my car at the entrance of the Interstellar Crossing Administration. Not activating autonomous driving mode as before, Ning Sheng sat directly in the driver's seat and skillfully turned the steering wheel, causing the car to turn 180 degrees in place. Finally, he brushed against the corner of the butler's clothes and flew out like the wind. Butler. Dot. Writing. New books coming I opened my mind a bit, so my worldview is a bit scientific, but it probably won't be much. The special relationship between Earth and Uranus will be revealed later, although Earth is called Earth, there is no need to substitute it for reality heart to heart, carrot 3 carrot, a, end of this chapter. Chapter 2. Exile to Earth. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Exile to Earth Earth, World Security Bureau China Branch The staff with work tags around their necks are working diligently in their respective positions. Occasionally, employees who hurriedly pass by the entrance of the Sky Blue Star Affairs Department office holding documents are almost always envious and take a glance inside. In that huge office, there are now only two employees sitting and lying down, occasionally, familiar game sound effects can be heard, right three. I can't afford it. Ah. In the whole game, not a single card was played, and Lin Xiang put down his phone heartbroken. This class has only been on for half a day today, and my happy bean has lost all. How can I endure the remaining half of the day? If it weren't for the consideration of having a well-established workforce, high salaries, good benefits, and high job positions, I only have jobs like this where I don't have to meet a business partner even after retirement, and I have a lot of free time every day. Well, I'm still quite willing to do it muttered a series of words that were easy to get beaten up when spoken, Lin Jiang glanced at the time on the computer again and his expression became visibly happy. Sinian. Lusion. Wake up quickly, it's almost time for lunch break. Today, we made hairy crabs in the cafeteria, and the master is very skilled. From top to bottom, no one who eats crabs doesn't like this dish. Hmm. Awakened by Lin Zhang's excited voice, the man who had been sleeping on the lounge chair for over an hour in the corner finally lifted his hand and pulled off his eye mask. Unlike ordinary office white dot collar workers with standards like Lin Jiang, a man's facial features are delicate, with clear and firm lines and contours. Although it was all the same, the white shirt and black suit jacket were uniformly distributed by the security bureau, perhaps it was because he tore off his tie before going to bed and accidentally unbuttoned two shirt buttons, wearing this garment on him, it was even accentuated as if it were a high dot end luxury brand exuding an undeniable aura of luxury. Even the hair that was messed up due to removing the eye mask added a hint of lazy and tempting but unconscious desire to him, little by little. Not to mention the moment he opened his eyes, Crow Black's eyelashes trembled lightly, and his narrow peach blossom eyes had a slight blush from waking up even though Lin Jiang has been working with Lu Sinian for over a month and his sexual orientation is straightforward but every time he accidentally caught a glimpse of Lusnian's face, he couldn't help but want to sigh. There are really people in this world who are born with their own spotlight. Silently straightened his waist a bit to avoid being compared too harshly by Lusnian, Lin Jiang lowered his head, glanced at the time again, and continued with what he had just said. There are still three minutes left until lunch break, but we don't have much to do anyway. Why don't we move forward? Dee 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 dee. Alarm. Alarm. A young woman from the Blue Star has been detected entering the Earth China region. Dot. After a brief silence, Lin Jiang twisted his neck in a daze. Did you just hear that, Snyan? It seems like there's an alarm saying what Luzhen gave him a faint glance and casually picked up the brand. New report book that had been sitting on the table for a long time. When he got up, he also tied the two buttons on his collar with one hand. It says we should go pick someone up now. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 First Sight You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 First Sight, Pick Up, Ah uh, Yes, Pick Up Lin Jiang kept up with Lu Xinyan's pace in a daze and finally regained his consciousness after leaving the office. Sleeping Trough do people from the Blue Star really come over? Sure enough, I have so much free time at work that I can only fight against landlords. If I insist on talking shamelessly about Versailles, I will be punished by heaven. I haven't encountered anything like this in seven years of work, how come his hairy crab? Half excited and half resentful, they took the elevator with Lu Sinian and got down to the underground tenth floor of the safety bureau. Standing in front of the gate marked, Hua Gua. Sky Blue Star Entrance and Exit, Lin Jiang took a deep breath and pushed open the gate. Hello, I am Lin Jiang, the head of the Tianlan Star Affairs Department of the Hua Gua branch of the Earth World Security Bureau. 
smoothly speaking the lines that I had rehearsed countless times in my mind just now, at the moment when Lin Jiang reached out his hand to shake hands with the other person, he finally saw what was inside the door, it seems like a black vortex that can devour everything, and the interface light column generated at the moment when two parallel spacetimes intersect is slowly dissipating. Under the beam of light, there was a girl wearing a black long dress, her slightly curled dark long hair brushing lightly behind her, the interweaving of black and light makes her already fair skin even more dazzling and dazzling. A beautiful woman is enchanting, her eyebrows and eyes are bright and the moon is shining brightly. The overall temperament is as expensive as that kid Lusnian, it's unreasonable. The only thing that makes people feel somewhat regretful is that when such a beauty looks up at him, there is not an intoxicating smile on her face as he imagined. In those crystal clear and transparent eyes, there is a tranquility like a deep pool, and a carefree demeanor. It's like there's nothing in this world that can make her stare and stop not right. Her gaze fell on him and didn't move away. Lin Zhang's heart beat like a drum in an instant, just as he was almost unable to control his emotions, the next second, in the palm of his right hand, which he was hanging in mid-air intending to grip with her, there was an additional suitcase armrest. Thank you. Ning Sheng politely thanked him. Lin Jiang. Dot. Does he really look that much like a bag-carrying guy? Silently glancing at Lu Xinian, who was walking side by side with Ning Sheng in front of him, his aura was as close as 8.8 .8 meters, Lin Jiang found with some sadness that the answer to this question was incredibly affirmative. Asterisk turn around and enter the adjacent inspection room, Lin Jiang obediently continued to serve as a laborer, carrying the suitcase onto the inspection rack and operating instruments to detect whether there were any prohibited items in Ning Xing's suitcase that could not be brought into the earth, while perusing his ears, he listened attentively to the incredibly formulaic dialogue of the two people next to him, name. Ning Sheng. Age. 20. The reason for coming to earth. Family exile. The swish of the pen tip over the paper came to a momentary halt, the tall and handsome man looked up at her with some surprise, then quickly lowered his gaze again and wrote the four words, family exile, of long faith and dance on the report book. Why exile? I'm not quite sure. This time, it was Ning Xing's turn to remain silent. But in just a short while, she quickly came up with a reason. Probably because they think I don't have the ability to awaken and evolve, it's too useless, and my only purpose is to marry people. But just this morning, my fiancé A also exploded Lin Jiang. Dot. Fiancé A what? What exploded? End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Regulators. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Regulators He could understand every word, but when they came together, it became a completely incomprehensible meaning for him. Lin Jiang held back his curiosity and waited for a while, only to find that Lu Xinian had no intention of continuing to ask. Coincidentally, the suitcase in his hand had also been checked, and he couldn't help but approach and join the group chat. We seem to have never received anyone exiled from the Blue Star before. Seeing Ning Xing's gaze, he finally moved away from Lu Xinian and landed on his own face, Lin Jiang coughed lightly and instinctively straightened his demeanor but on the other hand, our planet is not bad either, is it? Can you still treat me as a place of exile last year, the highest science college of Tianlan Star launched a new type of medication that can delay human aging and extend human lifespan, it's probably similar to the vaccination shots you have here, but you must get vaccinated every three years Ning Sheng calmly glanced at him. It is estimated that the average lifespan of the Blue Planet people in the future should be around 200 years old. Hiss. Lin Jiang took a cold breath. Is this a cold-blooded wealthy family that prioritizes interests? A good little girl didn't do anything wrong, just because she was useless to the family, she had to be exiled to another completely unfamiliar and relatively backward world. What is the average lifespan on Earth? He shook his head regretfully. Lin Jiang wanted to comfort him, but the nonsense he could think of couldn't even convince him. 
The only thing I can do seems to be to arrange for Ning Sheng's life upon her arrival on Earth, Miss Ning, your situation is indeed quite special. As the person in charge of the Sky Blue Star Affairs Department, I will apply to the Bureau as soon as possible and help you arrange a temporary accommodation. Also, worried that Ning Sheng would resist what he was going to say next, Lin Jiang pondered and carefully organized his language, saying, because there are many differences between Celestial Blue Star and Earth, and apart from us special workers, most people on Earth are unaware of the existence of Celestial Blue Star. So in order to help you better adapt to the life on Earth, while also avoiding being detected by Earthlings as your identity, according to regulations, within one year, there will be someone in our bureau who needs to um, assist outsiders like Miss Ning to integrate into the Earth as soon as possible. To put it bluntly, it means sending someone to monitor her for a year to prevent her from doing anything that would expose her identity and make ordinary earthlings aware of the existence of the Blue Star. This is indeed not some pleasant news. But what does she have to care about? Subconsciously glanced at the number in the palm of his left hand, 364 days at 10.33 minutes and 19 seconds. In the last year, after being exiled to Earth, there was still a large living person who could be called upon, and the feeling of being abandoned was not particularly obvious. Ning Xing self-deprecatingly tugged at the corner of his lips, his tone somewhat casual. Sure. Of course, our intention is not to say. Hmm, hmm. Unexpectedly, Ning Xing could speak so well, and Lin Zhang's expression instantly brightened. That's the case. Our Blue Star Affairs Department doesn't actually have many staff members, one is me, and the other is Snyan. But Snyan has only been here for a month, and many things may not be clear yet, so. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Countdown to Life Paused You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Countdown to Life Paused So if there's anything not thoughtful, please bear with me. At the moment when Lin Jiang was about to blurt out his offer, accompanied by an elegant and low-pitched voice, a hand extended from the slanted side unexpectedly passed over him and directly handed it to Ning Sheng. The most frustrating thing is that Ning Sheng, who only knew how to stuff the suitcase into his hand before, actually managed to hold it back. Lin Jiang. Dot. Why didn't he know that Lusnian still had such a proactive time? Shocked, he turned his head and looked at a man who was still calm and composed, as if he had not spoken at all just now, Lin Jiang gritted his teeth and squeezed out a smile. Are you sure there's no problem? Miss Ning is not a terrorist, what problems can she have? The gaze fell on the girl who seemed casual but was actually indifferent to everything, Lu Sinian hooked his lower lip, his eyes slightly dark. Moreover, there is always someone to handle the affairs of the Celestial Blue Star Affairs Department. If we don't leave Lin Jiang as the person in charge, can we let him sit down as someone who has only been employed for a month? Lin Jiang. Dot. There is nothing to say. Asterisk although it has been several years since China received anyone from the Blue Star, but fortunately, when the Blue Star first appeared 20 years ago, various rules and regulations had already been perfected layer by layer. In just over an hour, Lin Jiang obtained Ning Xing's ID card, communication phone, temporary housing keys, and even subsidies for outsiders on Earth. The house is an employee dormitory built by the Security Bureau more than 30 years ago, with a somewhat outdated appearance and not many residents inside. The salary and benefits of the Huaguo branch of the Earth Safety Bureau are not low, and many old employees have saved enough money early on to buy new houses and move out of this building. When Lu Sinian led Ning Sheng into the hallway, he could even see traces of large peeling walls on the walls. But he seemed to have become accustomed to it for a long time, only afraid that Ning Sheng might not get used to it, so he spoke up and said two more words. The houses in the old city area here are mostly like this, but they can still accommodate people, and the interior looks much better than the aisles outside that are not managed. I live in the room opposite you, and if there are any problems that cannot be solved in the future, you can come to me he also lives here. 
Upon hearing this sentence, Ning Sheng was slightly surprised. After all, Lu Xinian looks more like a type of person with properties spread all over the world. However, it has nothing to do with her. With his eyes down, Ning Sheng unconsciously glanced at the position of his left palm again, 364 days at 10.33 minutes and 19 seconds. Sure enough, there hasn't been any change. She withdrew her gaze indifferently, the next second, he suddenly stopped and raised his hand to stare at the line of words, repeatedly confirming it over and over again, how could there be no change? Her life's countdown has stopped. Is it because I came to earth? Ning Xing's heart trembled greatly. People who have not experienced it before will probably never understand the pain of knowing their own death date and being able to clearly see every minute and second passing in their palm at any time. This is a long psychological torment, two years is enough to turn her mood from bright to dead. But now, the industry has fallen into a standstill countdown, yet with a strong attitude, it has stirred up waves in her heart, which had no waves at all. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Countdown has started again. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Countdown has started again. What's wrong? The old house doesn't have an elevator, Lucinian walked ahead with a suitcase, but when he turned a corner and was about to step on another section of the stairs, he realized that Ning Sheng had not moved halfway. At first sight, those fox eyes, so cold and devoid of any warmth, were now unaware of what shocking sight they had seen, staring round and wide, it gives people a huge contrast and looks very cute. Lucinian unconsciously followed her gaze and looked over, it is indeed a very beautiful hand. Slender and white, with a delicate and delicate skeleton that is as shiny as jade. But. There seems to be nothing surprising. Just as Luzhen was about to take a closer look, the girl below, who had regained her senses, had already put down her hand and looked up at him with a faint smile on her lips. It's nothing, she originally had a bright and beautiful appearance, but before, it was only because of her strong aura that the coldness overwhelmed her own appearance, but now this smile suddenly melts like spring snow. The noon sunshine is rich and warm, passing through grandma's swaying tree shadows and the dazzling floating dust, a shimmering golden light shone from behind her into the hallway, as if it could fill the long shattered gaps, it seems that there is indeed a gap that has been filled. It's like dying dead trees being re-injected with vitality. At least that's how Ningxing feels to him now. Unfortunately, the two of them are not yet familiar enough to inquire about the reason. Lu Xinian raised his eyebrows slightly, and the witty one didn't say much. Carrying her suitcase all the way to the sixth floor, Lu Xinian took out the key and walked to the far left door in the hallway. There are three households on the first floor of this building, and it is said that the apartment next to it has been vacant for a long time. Your apartment used to be occupied by a female employee in the bureau, who just moved out recently. Many of the furniture in the room should still be usable. Take a look and see if there's anything missing. I can take you to buy it later as he spoke, the door had already been opened by him. It can be seen that the female employee who previously lived here had carefully cleaned before leaving. The small one bedroom is clean and tidy, with nothing extra except for some essential furniture. Bed sheets, pillows, and blankets, which are relatively private items, naturally do not exist. Luzhen glanced briefly, as if remembering something, then turned around and walked out again. I still have the four-piece set that was previously sent by the bureau, but I haven't used the new one, I'll go get it for you. No need, I can do it myself. The refusal was not yet finished, and the sound of the door lock turning on the opposite side had already begun to sound. Ning Sheng, dot. This person doesn't seem to have such a heartwarming appearance even though he doesn't seem to I didn't think much about the reason why the other person was so enthusiastic when we first met. Taking advantage that Luzhen had not yet returned, Ning Sheng raised his left hand to confirm the countdown in his palm again. However, this time, what she saw was a familiar, steadily pulsating numerical value, 
364 days at 10.33 minutes and 13 seconds, 364 days at 10.33 minutes and 12 seconds, 364 days at 10.33 minutes and 11 seconds How did the countdown start again? Can't she walk into this room? Or rather, I'm not sure which one you like, silver gray or dark blue, so I brought both over. Outside, the sound of lucerne's passing and returning goes from far to near, Ning Sheng had no time to respond. The suffocating feeling of finally seeing hope, yet instantly causing her to fall back to the bottom, made her eager to figure out what the opportunity for the previous countdown to stop was. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Is Him You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Is Him Miss Ning Without receiving a response, Ruth paused for a moment and noticed that there seemed to be some significant mental fluctuations in the room, his eyes flickered slightly, and he stood in front of the sofa hesitating for a moment. Finally, he lifted his leg and walked towards the direction of the bedroom. At the same time, Ning Xing inside the room also saw with his own eyes that the frequency of the number jumping in his palm gradually slowed down, until it finally came to a complete stop. 364 days at 10.32 minutes and 31 seconds. Three more times, it's still this number. In the case where all variables remain relatively stationary, the only possible cause of this change is Ning Xing suddenly looked back, as expected, Lu Xinian was standing at the door of the room, with a hint of doubt in his eyes. Miss Ning. Hmm. After realizing that the man in front of her was the key to her survival, Ning Sheng couldn't just treat him as an optional regulator. Pushing the suitcase aside casually, Ning Sheng seemed to have just realized it. He changed his previous attitude of being business oriented, polite but distant, and initiated an invitation. I'll come over this time, you probably haven't had lunch yet, have you? How about going out and having something to eat first? My treat. You don't need to treat me. His gaze swept silently towards her left hand, but he still couldn't see anything unusual. Lu Sinian nodded slightly. Are there any taboos? I. Unconsciously, Ning Sheng was about to say, don't eat coriander, as I spoke, I remembered my character design, which was my first time on Earth. In theory, I should have never eaten any food from Earth. She changed her tone with ease. I don't know, we only have nutritional supplements there. You're pretty lucky then. Ruth Young smiled and said. It's hard to say anything else, but at least in terms of food, Huagua is definitely one of the top tier. Is that right? Ning Xing responded absent-mindedly, but all his thoughts were focused on verifying his guess. From upstairs to downstairs, and then to the nearby dining area, along the way, Ning Xing finally succeeded in reaching the conclusion she wanted, as long as Luzhen is within her 5 meter range, her life countdown will come to a standstill, 5 meters away and within 10 meters, the speed slows down. And once it exceeds 10 meters, the countdown will resume normal operation. It seems that she needs to find a way to establish a good relationship with her supervisor and have more interactions, what would you like to eat? Just as Ning Sheng was carefully pondering how to quickly establish a close and friendly relationship with him, spending as much time as possible with him except for going to the bathroom and sleeping, Lu Xinyan's footsteps finally stopped. Is spicy hot pot okay? It can let you eat many different kinds of dishes at one time. The subsidy for external personnel from the security bureau is only 5,000 yuan and will only be issued once. In order to avoid causing too much psychological burden on Ningsheng, Lu Xinian specially selected a delicious and affordable street side shop, and the decoration of the shop looked very down dot to dot earth. Fortunately, Ningsheng was not picky either. As soon as he said it, she nodded in agreement. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Countdown has been added. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Countdown has been added. Chinese cuisine has a long history, and any food from a street stall can attract outsiders to stop and marvel. This statement is never false. In a small spicy hot pot shop, 
there are three refrigerated shelves for all kinds of ingredients. Ning Sheng casually picked up a little bit of each ingredient, and when he finally settled, the price was surprisingly cheap, this one is 20.8 yuan, which one is 20.7 yuan, do you want it together? Together. Lu Xinian responded and took out his phone, about to scan the QR code for payment, on the side, Ning Sheng had already handed out a bright red banknote. I'll come this time. When I run out of money in a few days, I'll invite you instead. It's also okay. The little girl arrived for the first time and the small suitcase she brought didn't seem to hold much at first glance. 5,000 yuan may be gone in a few days. It's the same when he invites her to dinner again. Lu Sinian didn't persist any longer. His gaze lightly swept over the hand she reached out to pick up the change. When he turned around, he casually asked. What's wrong with the hands? When she was on the stairs before, and along the way, she looked too frequently at the palm of her left hand, even though Lu Sinian is not particularly familiar with her now, asking this sentence doesn't seem abrupt. My hands. Ning Sheng had long thought that he might ask this question, so she instinctively glanced into her palm again and casually said the excuse she had already made up. There seems to be. Halfway through, when her gaze reached 364 days, 10.27 minutes, and 16 seconds, her pupils suddenly shrank, if she remembers correctly, the last time she looked at her palm, the number on it was still 364 days, 10.26 minutes, and 49 seconds. What is the extra 27 seconds? 27, 27 the bowl of spicy hot pot she bought for him just now seems to be 27 yuan. What's in your palm? Halfway through her words, she suddenly paused, Luzhen leaned over slightly and looked at her palm, there was no difference from his hurried glance on the stairs before, it was still white and indistinguishable. There seems to be a small thorn. At the moment when Ning Sheng tilted his gaze towards him, he had already adjusted his emotions. The thick black eyelashes, like butterfly wings, gently covered all the ripples in her eyes, Ning Sheng even extended his palm in front of him again. I always feel a bit painful, but upon closer inspection, I don't see any thorns. There are indeed no thorns. Lu Sinian looked at her carefully, but he didn't really believe her words. But he clearly did not have any position to continue questioning, in the end, she could only follow her instructions and withdraw her gaze, saying calmly. But if you continue to feel pain afterwards, you can go to the hospital to see. No need. I guess it was accidentally stabbed somewhere before, and it's not a big deal Ning Sheng withdrew his left hand as if nothing had happened, and also spent four yuan to buy two bottles of mineral water, placing one of them in front of the other person. Thank you. It's just two yuan worth of mineral water. I've already bought it, so there's really no need to refuse. Lu Xinian expressed his gratitude without much thought, on the other side, Ning Sheng quickly glanced at his palm while he was not paying attention, 364 days at 10.27 minutes and 18 seconds. Sure enough, two more seconds. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Actually, I have a very special OCD. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Actually, I have a very special OCD after all, Luzhen and she are two separate individuals, and it is impossible to always maintain a distance of five meters. In fact, one year cannot withstand too much consumption. But now it's different. As long as you spend one dollar for him, her life can be extended by one second. That is to say, you can buy a day's lifespan for 86,400 yuan. If she wants to buy a 200-year-old one first Ning Sheng unscrewed the bottle cap and took a sip of mineral water to calm down for a moment. After confirming that his voice didn't sound too excited, it seemed like he suddenly remembered something and said. Actually, there may be another reason why I was exiled here. Hmm. Lu Sinian raised his eyes and waited quietly for her next message. I have a special OCD, which is that I particularly enjoy spending money on people. Ning Sheng looked serious. And the larger the amount, the better. 
If the other party refuses, I will have difficulty breathing. Lu Xinian. Dot. Ningxing said, it's probably because I've spent too much money these years, so they don't want to bear it anymore. Dot. Luzhen fell silent. Although he had never heard of such a peculiar obsessive dot compulsive disorder before, it seemed unnecessary for Ning Sheng to fabricate such outrageous things to deceive him. After all, what benefits can this have for her? What if you don't have money to spend on others? Unable to think of any reason why Ning Sheng fabricated such a thing, Lu Xinian couldn't help but take it seriously. Will this also cause difficulty breathing? Yes. Ning Sheng is resolute and down dot to dot earth. So I need to make more money quickly. Do you know any jobs that come with quick money that are suitable for me? Yes, there is. Luzhen pondered for a moment. But the amount may not be too high. How much money do you need approximately, I'm not quite sure either. What if this thing is just the same routine as many small games she has played before, and the exchange rate was very cheap at the beginning, but over time, it gradually becomes outrageous. Ningxing estimated in his heart. If possible, let's start with a few billion. Lu Xinian once again said, dot. He lowered his head, took out his phone, lightly tapped the screen a few times, and then directly handed the latest pop.up webpage to Ningxing under his nose, it clearly states the question he just searched for on it, how to earn billions in the shortest amount of time. Answer. Robbing banks. This time, the silent person became Ningsheng. Unfortunately, Lu Xinian, who was sitting opposite her, didn't know if it was a bad taste or something, but he calmly added two more words. Although this answer is very true, I do not recommend that you do so. After all, the consequence of doing so is likely not difficulty breathing, but no need to breathe any more Ningsheng. Dot. What hellish joke is this? Just as Ning Sheng wanted to take her gaze back and think for herself if there were any other ways to earn more money without exposing the fact that she had illegally crossed over to Earth before, an entertainment news push message suddenly popped up above Lu Xinyan's phone screen, but her eyes suddenly froze, millions of bonus. Chicken-eating Battlefield joins hands with Foreign Wilderness Survival Program Group to create the world's first live human wilderness chicken-eating program. Show me. Ning Xing reached out and took the phone. It had been over two years since she came to Earth, and she couldn't understand these new things anymore. What is a chicken-eating battlefield? Do we compete to eat chicken together? End of this chapter. Chapter 10. The Real Man Wild Chicken-Eating Competition. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10. The Real Man Wild Chicken-Eating Competition. Almost. Luzhen was slightly taken aback and then chuckled lightly. Indeed, there are many people competing together, but eating chicken is just a synonym for that game. In fact, it is about airdropping a group of people onto a deserted island with a plane, everyone can freely choose the position for parachuting. After landing on the ground, search for supplies everywhere, such as firearms, bulletproof vests, helmets, backpacks, and even frying pans, etc., then arm yourself with these things and eliminate your opponents isn't that similar to military exercises. Ning Xing suddenly clicked into the push and took a closer look. As expected, the program registration precautions were clearly stated in the notice, this program is aimed at the world and recruits a total of 25 groups of contestants, each with two people. Participants need to form their own teams before registration. Contestants must possess a certain level of wilderness survival ability and experience in solo skydiving. Due to the certain risks involved in this program, contestants are required to sign a disclaimer in advance. Of course, our program team will do everything possible to protect the safety of every contestant's life. Carefully read through all the precautions, Ning Sheng enlarged the page of the promotional poster with the words, 10 million bonus, and held it up in front of Lu Xinian. Do you want to sign up? The first place team has a 10 million yuan bonus per person, which feels more reliable than robbing a bank. I have no problem. A rough glance swept over the poster, 
and Ruth raised his eyebrows as he looked young. But survival in the wild may not be as easy as you think. Most sky blue stars awaken their evolutionary abilities from the age of 10, and if they haven't awakened by the age of 18, it's almost like they won't be able to awaken in their lifetime. Before spicy hot pot is ready, Ning Xing lowers his voice. So, if we haven't awakened by the age of 15, our family will send us to various undeveloped deep mountains and forests as soon as we have time, those who are lucky may awaken to success in difficult situations the area of celestial blue star is the same as that of Earth, but the total population is only 1 million. The undeveloped deep mountains and old forests are not to be underestimated. Not to mention that the mutated animals are all incredibly ferocious, even rabbits can kick a child. Ning Sheng can survive in the wilderness over there, so there's no reason why she can't make it to this survival program on Earth. Then report it. After all, there are not many opportunities to earn 10 million yuan a month, and she doesn't know when she will make the uncomfortable habit of not spending money on others, after confirming that Ning Sheng had no problems, Lu Xinian quickly nodded. But we need to ask Lin Jiang to get his skydiving certificate first. Then tell him. Ning Sheng returned her phone to him, then took out her own new phone, downloaded Weibo, and searched again, in just a short while, the comments section of this recruitment information has already been built with over 3,000 floors, I have seen the works of this wilderness survival program group abroad before. They pursue absolute authenticity, which is completely different from variety shows that use the guise of survival in the wilderness and are actually just fooling the audience I heard that the chicken-eating battlefield is about to enter the overseas market, which is why this competition was created. I have to admit, the effectiveness of their promotion this time is really amazing, isn't that right? If we really want to follow the traditional model of advertising and promotion, the money invested is far more than that, and there will definitely not be so many followers. End of this chapter